So here he is with much fanfare, the number one lightweight contender challenging for UFC gold here tonight. Hay is in the barn. He feels like he has put in all the requisite work to realize the dream here tonight. He's been working so hard. When you watch the videos, you can see a guy that will not accept anything less than being super prepared for the biggest opportunity of his career. He has worked diligently. He has trained hard. He has brought in training partners. He's done everything. Now it's all about going out there and executing. He said he feels he's ready to do that and become the UFC champion. But it must be stated in this division with all of the contenders, oftentimes you only get one crack. We'll see what he can do with it. Islam Makasha. He has graced the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight. That UFC championship belt. Well, you can't wear your gi in the octagon, but I'm not sure it matters too much for this decorated Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. I mean, that'd be the last guy I would want to fight. He is limb collected. Yeah, he's absolutely the best one. I mean, from the moment you hit the mat, he's trying to submit you. He wants your arm. He'll take your neck. He'll take your legs. There's just no safety when you're grappling with this guy. You got to be very aware when you engage him on his terms because he's as good as they come on the mat. And certainly he has made strides when it comes to his striking, but he has made no bones about it. He wants a floor fight tonight and believes he'll be able to pursue it. We'll see. Oftentimes he does whatever he wants to do. Certainly he can impose his will on the ground where his game is just so nuanced when it comes to the throws and the trips and the manipulation of joints and everything else. But on the feet, in a kickboxing setting, this man has proven a lead as well. A true five-tool player who many believe by year's end could just be the king of the lightweight division. So he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. <laughs> Darius just is able to flatten him out now. This could be real trouble now. In the half guard. Side control now. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. Stand over him. He's got to be careful here. Takes his back now. Thought about a choke, instead flattens him out. And now he's got a lot of options offensively, champ. Yeah, he's got all the options available to him. Now he just has to get all that hip pressure into his opponent's back and just start raining down on ground and pump. And if you're the bottom fighter, better start intelligently defending yourself. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. Now he's got a good body. Looks like he's going for an armbar here. How tight is that? Ooh, looks like it might be locked in. Once he gets you going. Oh, what a transition to the belly down armbar. Oh, oh, he's out. Notice how his opponent circled back off of his right. Back towards the side that his opponent was on. Got his hips all the way across to release the pressure off, off of his arm. Beautiful submission defense. Oh, he's got to be careful there. Yep. Setting up an on lock now. I think he's got it. 
deep. That is a fantastic arm on belly down the tip. Oh, he got it. He actually defended. Wow. He's not in a great position now, but he's better off than he was What a fight so far. some water. Drink, relax. All right, you good? Okay. So we probably lost that round. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicked. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round underway. Could be the beginning of the end here. Oh, big left hand there. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in a clinch now. He does a phenomenal job of actually attacking the takedown off of his punches. Oh, arm triangle attempt now. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Oh, now he's in Work. trouble. Oh, he escapes. He got out. He, wow, that is great submission defense. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Nice punch to the head. Man, look at the redness now almost immediately on the right side of his body. This guy cannot miss. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such a tough to even be on his feet right now. Look at that. Recognize he's about to be in position. Nice reversal on the ground. Great job. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Not a on those opportunities. And you can't wait these opportunities. You don't get him as often as you'd like. So if you get a guy hurt, you gotta find a way to finish the fight. And the takedown attempt, but he does not land it. Takedown defense holds up. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to take down that big. Massive left hand. Darius goes for the takedown and misses. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to... Now he pulls guard right into the triangle. I mean, he Just when it looked like he might get Oh, man, he's hurt. He's a tough take down. There you go. Oh, what goes up must come down as he slams him right on the canvas. Huge moment in the round. It excites me to watch somebody land those types of technique. The impact of that slam on take down was felt at the best and in the first couple of rows. All right, there's the horn, an appreciative crowd responding in kind. He rocked his opponent multiple times there in that round, looked very confident in doing so. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round, a stunner there with the head strike. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, head kick blocked, though, by Doryush. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, he lands a big left hand. Beautiful jab there by the champ. You know what's crazy? It was like the MMA back in the day, guys didn't jab him. It was all power shots. Now you see guys well more edges 
associated with that jab in that front hand. Makashev's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Hook in the clinch there is good by Doyush. Man, that right hook is nasty. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. His nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps there on the bridge. Stay sharp. Nice jab. Lands a double leg kick. Oh, he passes that. Oh, what do we got here? Looks like an arm triangle attempt. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pin in the triangle now. Somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth in submission defense. Win. Oh, what a head kick there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Thirty seconds to go now. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other. Yes, we knew this. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. That guillotine is tight. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the... You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is that? Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to happen. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has a Garhush is trying to lock up on a submission now. Ooh, that submission looks tight. Oh, gives up on the submission now. We'll see where he goes from here. He's setting up the arm bar. Ooh, arms in tight. Wow, well, he's out. The fight's gonna continue. Oh my goodness, I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Expanded a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close, or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. swelling upstairs. Well, you gotta move your head. You gotta be preemptive. You cannot wait until your opponent starts to throw something in your direction. You gotta avoid right now if you wanna avoid having this become an issue. Oh, he landed a flying knee to the head. point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it goes. Oh, oh that jab hurt him. So he continues to attack that area above the knee and digging right into that thigh. He's digging into the thigh. He's Back to his feet. Oh. 
Mariusz gets hit with a kick that won't appear to land flush. Takedown attempt late, and it's good. Another good takedown. Beautiful transition. Takedown like that might be the difference. All right, there's the end of the round, and what a round it was for him. Two knockdowns there. I'm not sure if the opposite corner is going to throw in the towel, if the doctor is going to come in, but he is hurting for certain. I mean, they've got to look at it, right? They've got to look at their fighter, and sometimes you have to see. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, fifth and final round. Lands a jab. Big leg kick. And back to his feet. And there's a takedown attempt. Daryush is blocking well now. You see the fighter raised. Oh, got a full guard here. Flying triangle attack. Into a triangle choke. He's got the feet on the neck. Oh, he got out. Let's go. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Tapped against the choke. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. Oh, nice transition there. You call that a reversal? Yeah, you turn your defense into offense. Defensively, you switch position and you go right on the offensive. That's exactly what he did. Spot on the ground, and you want to reverse it. That's what you need to do. Master class in changing position, unreal to see. Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the grappling exchanges and how how skilled both of these men are. Oh. Might get the TKO here. for the takedown here. Darius is really limping now. Clearly the leg kicks have had the desired effect. I'm not sure how many more of those he can take. 45 seconds remain in the round. Trying to get the knees going. Big takedown. Islam Akashev gets back up again. Flips the punch nicely there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Garyush is cut on his nose, is just pouring blood at him. What a fight! 25 minutes turned in. All right, so an epic 25-minute championship fight here tonight, and it seems like the incumbent has done enough to retain his title. They say every time you're fighting, when you're the champion, you get the biggest, baddest guy in the entire world. So, of course, it's going to be close. But I believe the champ did just enough to retain his title. Official decision now in, the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And still the undisputed UFC Walter White champion of the world is love. Yeah. All right.
right, so he came in the best welter.